Alice. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Aunt Alice? I'm fine. Yes. Yes, can we say good morning to our children? Okay. Yes, good morning, upper class Auntie Zora. Good morning, upper Alice Auntie, upper class Auntie Alice. I can see you're ready to watch and study. Can yes, you say good morning to your children oh, in Naguru? I'm going to say good morning to upper class Naguru. Hello, upper class Aunt Esther's class. How are you today? How are you doing at home? How are your mummies, your baby brothers, and your baby sisters? Hello, upper class Aunt Jillian. I can see all of you. I'm Teacher Hope from Naguru. Yes, Auntie Alice. Wow, well, see, they are smiling at me. Wow, that's nice. Okay, okay. Now, Auntie Hope, yes. what can we do for our children this morning? What can we do for them? Today, I can see. We have something so beautiful, but before, we have to first of all shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it with Uncle Richard. Do you think they are ready to shake? Children, are you ready to shake it? Shake, shake, shake it. Shake, shake, shake it. Are you ready? Okay, yes, yes, I'm ready. ready. I can see. Yes. Yes. We call Uncle Richard. Yes. Uncle Richard. 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 Yes, Uncle Richard. You are welcome. Yes. First, say hello to our upper class children. Hello, upper class children. How are you today? They are yeah. fine. Abi? You're going behind. Ah, I'm going behind. You think they are seeing you? Come on, be hey. closer. I'm trying to move this way. Let Uncle Richard be there. Okay. Uncle Richard, come here. Here, here. Let me be in the middle. Oh, where I can dance very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Uncle Richard. Yes. yes. This little light of mine. Yes. Gonna let it shine. Yes. Woo! Stand up, and clap your hands. Stand up, and clap your hands. Hey, it is, it is faster. Oh, my. 
chant. Yes. You put it where? Don't you don't put it under the pillow. Don't no. put it under the bed. They should let it shine. Yeah, let it shine. Yeah. And the whole life. You know what they are meaning? No. You are meaning that you can help a friend that is you are making your light shine. Okay. Wow. You can give to the needy. I know you're making your light too. Shine! Yes. Wow! That is nice. Yes. Okay. Let's pop 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 for Uncle Richard. Pop 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 for Uncle Richard. Thank you. Wow. Bye bye, Uncle Richard. See you. Yes. Wow. Would you wow. Would you like to try that? I our children, our children, they have enjoyed. I've seen all my children in my class, eh? And yes. Auntie Zura's class. They have been dancing, dancing, like me. Hmm? They wiggle. They said wiggle. wiggle. Uh, and uh, they uh, were uh, shh, shh, uh, shh. Uh, they were sliding. Uh, uh, yes, upper class. Wow, good. That is nice. Now, Auntie Go. Yes, Auntie Alice. Yeah, yesterday we learned about shh. Yesterday we learned about shh. Yes. Do you think our children remember? Let's remind them a little bit, upper class. Let's remind them a little bit. Children, do you still remember shh sound? Do you still remember the story uh, of Sam and the little brother? Yes. Do you think they remember? Oh, children, do you still remember the story of Sam? Must be remember. And that baby who could cry every time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember it? Oh, you need me to remind you and a little, but they can remember. Yes. Let me see. Children. Yes. Uh -huh. There is another story. It was about Sammy and the Harry. Harry. Do you still remember the story of Harry and Sammy? They can remember. Aunt Alice. Yes. How were they walking together? They were walking together. Me, I'm yes. now going to be Harry mm -hmm. and your Sammy. Okay. You know, Harry hates noise. Okay. And Sammy makes a lot of noise. So and it make makes noise and Harry. Sammy annoyed. Yes, you are walking together like this. Peter's name is a tricky word. It's very 
tricky. Yes. Very tricky. A tricky word. Yes. Something that doesn't sound the way it is written. It or is a word yes. which doesn't sound the way it is written. It is called a tricky word. And you just learn it. Yes. You know? So this is Jane. This girl is called Jane. Jane. And this is her name, Jane. It is also a tricky name. You just learn it. So, Teacher Alice, yes. tricky words, we learn them by looking at them every day. Yes, you look at them every day. If mommy and daddy bought you this book, yes. Peter and Jane, you have to read this book every day, every day, every day, until you learn the name Peter, until you learn the name Jane. Jane. Then here, they tell you Peter and Jane. Wow. Okay? They were together. Right? Yes. Then they came here and started reading more words. Okay. And they are also tricky. All the words apart from the one and. Here is Peter. Do you know the word here? It's a tricky word. It doesn't sound the way it is written. You just have to learn it. Here and then is. Then Peter. You just have to learn them. Then and sounds. This word is here. Here is Peter. They are also tricky words. They don't sound. You just have to keep on reading them every day. You write them every day. You can read this book and then maybe you're asking mommy for a book and then you learn the word here. Here is Peter and you write it. Then the next morning you will have learned the words at your home. Do you think our children got these books from mommy and daddy? Yes. You got the books. They have this book of Peter and Jane. They must have One learned day. all they these do have words. Yes. They must have learned these words. Yes. Then, we have this word. It is here. Can we read together, children? Uh-huh. Here, here is the... the Dog. dog. Oh, dog. And do you know the name of this dog? Yes, Aunt Alice. What's the name of the dog? This dog is called Bat. Bat. So, here is the dog. Now, children, you've been reading this book with mommy and daddy, and you have been reading the word here is. And I've just told you it is a tricky word which doesn't sound, it does not sound the way it is written. Yes, so you just learn it. Okay, children? By looking at it every day and reading it every day. And writing it. And writing it. You can learn it. Yes. So now, children, today we are going to learn about something new called sentences. And we are going to use the word here, here. is. Here is. Okay? Now, we are going to learn the word here is and then we make sentences. Yeah? Here is. So this is a word here. Yes. So we are constructing a sentence. But I'm going to put it here until hope. We are going to put it here for our children to see. Okay? This word is here. Here. The word is here. Here. Then we have another one. Is. Is. Yeah? The word is here. Is. Ah. And. Ah. And top has put. Ah, ah, so this is a sentence. Here is a, a what? Chair, a chair. Uh -huh. Then we write the word chair. Air. The word chair. Then here I will draw a chair here. Wow. Okay? You see the word chair. So 
we make a sentence here is a chair okay then i can draw something else here okay like this and then i want to make a sentence can we make a sentence Auntie Bob? yes i'm going nice. to write the word here i'm going to stick the word here and then you write the next is is put the next one at alice and then i put ah oh we made a sentence wow so this is and you see the picture what is this picture children tell me and you see this yes they it's can see it ball it's a ball so we write the word ball even the word ball is tricky Yes. Can you can you imagine it says b and then there's a in the middle and it says b mm. ball can you imagine this a says o i know why why does it say o because the word ball is a tricky word it's a tricky it is word. not written the way it is the way we sound it yes it yes. does not sound so it is very tricky. We call it tricky because it says ball and it is written as ball. Okay? So that's why we call it tricky. tricky. And you know when you're writing sentences, you begin with a capital letter. Good. And then we, you end with full a stop. full stop. A full stop. Stop. You begin with a capital letter and then you end with a full stop. Teacher Alice, yes. I know why we put a full stop at the end of the sentence. Why? Putting a full stop means your sentence has actually ended. Hey, if you don't right. put a full stop, it means the sentence is still continuing. It can run and go away. Exactly. For example, you're writing it in your book. Yes. You can continue and move away from the house. So, upper class, don't let your sentences run out of your books. Okay. Make sure when it ends, put a full stop. Okay. And yes. you begin with a capital letter. letter. Ever you write here, you see capital H. Yes. Capital H. You say here is a chair. Chair. Hmm? Here is a ball. And you end with a capital with a, a full stop. stop. So that your sentence doesn't run away. If you're writing in the book, it can run away from the book. Do you know that? And it goes on the table. And you know what, Teacher Alice? Yes. We don't put a capital letter in the middle of a sentence. Yes. Do you know it is tough? Very strong. Very tough. When it goes in the middle of the sentence, it knocks everybody. It goes like a... You mean it has energy? Oh, show me your energy, Auntie Alice. Alice. Show me your energy of a capital letter. Mm -hmm. Children, everybody, show me your energy. Mm -hmm. Of so a capital letter. It goes in the middle. You know, for it, it is not shy. It is very strong. It knocks all the letters oh, down. Oh, my God. So that's why they put it here so that it doesn't knock anyone. When it does this, it doesn't find anyone. So when it goes here, it, know, it knocks this down so okay. children never put a capital letter in the middle of a sentence yes yes right? like what the teacher has written here yes you begin with a capital letter and you end with a full stop a full stop now children you're going to do these sentences at home i want everybody to write well and learn the word here is a ah. and you get these books i know everyone has this they have a1 1b they have 2a they are reading at home they are yeah. reading that's good you wait for them when they come back they hey, will be, so be reading everything wow upper class i'm so proud of you i'm proud 
to very proud and my children know me when I'm proud in class eh? I can move around wow. everyone can be smiling eh? wow now children we are going to do this work we are going to do this work We are going to do this work. I've drawn some pictures for you on the on the paper. I want I've drawn for you all the pictures and with the sentence using here is our a what. Then I've written the words down here. So if you don't, if you've not learned the tricky word called window. You can look down here and get the word window. If you've not learned the word stone, but the word stone sounds, yes. it sounds. The word stone sounds because you say stone, but it has a magic e at the end, mm -hmm. and that magic e doesn't say anything. So that it's makes it a tricky word. Yeah, it okay. keeps quiet, and then O talks. Then ball, I've already showed you the word ball, even the word ball doesn't sound, right? So, you're going to look down here and get the word ball. If you've not learned the word ball, because it is tricky, you will look down here and see the word ball. If you've not learned the word girl, it is also tricky. It says girl. So it is very, very tricky. So you can look down here and choose the right word for the sentence and the picture. Then we have the flower. But children know the word flower. Oh, they know the word flower. Even ball, they know because they've been reading Peter and Jen Boo. Don't you think so? Okay, upper class. So as Aunt Alice has said, this is going to be your work. We are going to send it to you. Always remember to write your two names. Yes. Don't write only one name. Write two names, then the date. Ask mommy to tell you the day you are doing this work. Then write it and ask mommy to tell you how to write the name of your school. Yes. Don't let mommy write it on your work. Let mommy write it somewhere. Little cranes, Montessori kindergarten. Then you copy it. And children, never forget to read the instructions. Here, teacher has written, make sentences using here is. Don't jump direct to doing your work without reading the instruction. Yes. Make sentences using here is. Then we have here a picture. Here a is a, this is a window. The word window is here. Come mm -hmm. down here. Look at the words. Teacher has put for us the words here. We have flower, we have stone, we have window, we have ball, we have girl. Look at all these pictures. Don't call a window a stone. Can we write for them the word window? Please, teacher, Please write for, write for, write them, for the them the window. word window. And you know, until what you've told them to read instructions. Yes. You know, if you don't read instructions, you'll do wrong things. Exactly. Because this instruction tells you what to do down. So if you don't read instructions, you're going to do wrong things. Yes. And it will look like this. Like you are sick. And you? I'll just cry. Oh, don't cry, a big girl. Okay. So this is the word window. 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 You see, I'm not good. And then a full stop. Stop. Then you look down. This is a stone. This is a stone. Mm -hmm. And then you start. Oh, mm. then the magic, the magic e. e keeps quiet. Yes, so stone. Mm -hmm. Then the ball here, here right. is a ball. You read the sentence here, here is, is a ball. ball. Then you write a ball. And don't, don't forget 
that full stop. Yes. I told you if you don't write a full, if you don't put a full stop, you know what will happen? Your work will run away and sit on that table. Oh my now God. you bring your paper when it has no work. So you oh have to God. begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. Yes. Then, this is the word girl. It is right here. Just look down here if you don't know the word girl. So we read the sentence. Here, here is, is a girl. girl. Then you write the word girl. Girl. It is also a tricky word. It is a tricky word. Then what is this? Here is a... What is the picture? At Alice, I know it. Children, what is this picture? They knew I had them say it's a flower. flower. She said it. She said it, yes. Flower. Flower. So it is a tricky word also and don't forget the full stop. The full stop. All the words are written down here. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the work we want you to do. And Just to be choose. very happy and I'll be very happy. Just choose the correct word and put it where it is supposed to be. Yes. Then bring, give mommy or daddy to bring back your work to school. Yes. We shall be here waiting for your work. And another thing, don't forget to color. Yes, your work. color your Okay, color the pictures. pictures beautiful. So that your work can be beautiful. Then yes. I'll be so proud of you. And teacher Alice will be so proud of you. And we are here to say that we love you all.